All this for Instagram? Yeah. Cinematic <laughs> mode? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> People are gonna be like, what the f***? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna leave it. Ta-da! Yeah, leave it red, yellow, and blue. <laughs> we lost faith. That was a thumbs up. everybody welcome back to the chronicles on youtube today we're actually going to be installing a seat into the gr it's been a while we have a roll bar in there so we figured it's time to put a seat in there otherwise it looks kind of strange without what i mean with the stock seat in it but just because it rests up against the roll bar so getting a seat in there will probably help make it look better and it'll feel more more racings you know <laughs> Christian has this fancy uh, bride seat cleaner. Try to figure out how to use it. Yeah. That. Let's see. Japanese spray bottle. Very fancy. It's a Brid fabric seat cleaner, specially formulated for Brid seat fabric. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder what's in here. It has some sort of coating, Excel coat. Mm. Good for the body and soul. Uh, oh, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> This one, this was Ed's seat, and then he wanted to get one of these for his car, so I just kind of bought this one back from him, got ordered him one of these. Yeah. This is Brid, this is all Zero Series. Yes, this is the Brid Zero Series, by the way. Four, three out of the four. A new line? A new line of new Brid one. seats. Yeah. Uh, it's not that new, it's like last year? Oh, that's still pretty new. Still fairly new. This one's the newest one that came out uh, I want to say like December of last year, but didn't really hit US market till like mm. March or something. I don't, you know, it's still not on the US site or? That's the one that's going into the car. No. No. So because it's a street car, we don't want to go crazy on the street car. So we're using the CS. Okay, because we can't see it. We can't see it on the street. That's a little dangerous. <laughs> yeah. So that one's for the UK. Oh, uh, okay. This is the new Zero MS. Uh -huh. This one that came out of my EK. This is the Zero RS, mm -hmm. and then this is the Zero CS. Profile-wise, these two have the same profile, like on the back. Yeah. Because if you see, like, both of these are fairly straight, like, sitting up kind of style. Yes. Uh, the only difference, really, is being the ears. Mm. Whereas, uh, and then these are pretty high here. But if you look in the, the MS, oh. Oh, killer. <laughs> yeah. But the MS, if you, I don't know, I don't know if it's easy to see, but, the MS is like a totally different uh, profile. Yeah. Whereas this one is like the successor to the Brid Maxis 3. Mm -hmm. So it has a very curved back. So this one's like the very most like a Super GT seat. Because um, if you see without the back, the back profile probably comes out another like inch and a half to two inches on the back where it's like very curved. Yeah, it's much more hunchback. Yeah, it's super like curved right here. That one has actually has a little bit of like lumbar towards here. This one has zero, there's nothing here. Mm. And then if you line up like the seat belt holes to be vertical, then you can really see how much recline the seat like sits. Yeah. And this one still has like the smaller bottom uh, harness holes. Oh yeah. So it sits very reclined, sits really low. I think it's good for like taller people kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I think it looks cooler. These two also like hold you really well, but like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I like the look of this and the feel on this one feels really good on my back. Like the bolsters are really straight and high on those. Yeah, yeah, so this one technically has a higher side, but I almost think it's like a little too high. Yeah. Uh, especially, I think for most people it's okay. Yeah. But I think I'm, I don't know how many people do, but I sit where my arms like at 90 degree here. Mm -hmm. So I'm usually like, pretty tight like this. And it does get yeah, or you hit a little bit in the way where this one, I already tested it and like, there's more elbow clearance if you sit like this. I usually have like a lot of spacer, have like, you know, the hub mm -hmm. spacer and a quick release and the wheel. 
because my legs are kind of long, so yeah. the seat's pretty far back. Yeah. And then this feels good on my back, um, probably because I have a f***ed up back. So you can slouch? I can, yeah, super slouch <laughs> in this. Um, I don't think it'll seat's for everybody. If you know, I, I know like some people, if you like sit in office chairs, yeah. And you need like a lumbar and your like back hurts without a lumbar, this mm. is probably not the seat for you. Because it like it's like negative lumbar where it like goes backwards. So mm. a long drive would probably f you up even more. Yeah. But it feels good to me. For short sprints. Yeah. So it's nice because we have these here now. Wasn't planned to have them all here, but since they're here, might as well make a little yeah. comparison video. And then show off this stuff because this one's been sitting for a while yeah. and I was too lazy to cover it. I usually wrap it in like, you know, saran wrap or whatever, but. Instead of dropping it on the floor like we just did. <laughs> 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 yeah, so which seat do you like? Comment. I don't care actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel don't... like it's something we normally don't do. Yeah. Which, which seat do you like? Comment below and tell us which seat you like or don't. It doesn't matter to us. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if this is just like shoe cleaner. Oh, maybe, huh? Similar stuff. Yeah. Excel coat, huh? I hope we sell some. That's like a Teflon coating. How much is this? 20 bucks. Oh, okay. It's not yeah. bad, no. We sold like maybe 10 of them before. I like mean, over time. yeah, people really should clean their seats though because yeah. they'd be getting dirty, you know? That's also why I always choose black seats. Yeah. I used to really like the blue seats. Oh, those are cool. Never got they're before. just too blue for me though. They're really blue. Mm. You know, they're discontinued. And then I had a red seat before, but it just sounds so dirty. Yeah. I always like the black red seats more. Yeah. If I'm going to go with a color, I'm probably going to get a Recaro seat just because it's more like oh, yeah, they're... designer, like just more design patterns and stuff. Especially with the fabric, like the ones that you have, the SR7s. Mm -hmm. It's not just red, it's like red woven in with black. Yeah, that's why it looks cool. I feel, just feel like these seats are more like racing buckets, you know? So I've never seen this before. This N3 pure antibacterial process material? Huh. This, they must have removed all the coom off of it. But this is the Zero MS, as Christian said. This is the Zero RS. And then this is the Zero CS. They're all silver backed. Just because we don't need like the fancy Kevlar backing stuff. I don't even know if they operate in that. But yeah, this is this is the one that's going into the EK. This is a brand new seat that just arrived here in the US. Oop. And then we already had that one. That was already in the EK. And that one is going into the GR today. So we decided to use these, or give these EVS tuning seat rails a try. I've never even seen them before. So. Yeah, me either. Oh, I think we had them in her EK. Oh. Like made in Japan stuff? Made in Japan things. Mm. Some packaging. Yeah, the usually do Brid FG. Yeah. But they're out of stock. Oh. A lot of people are probably buying them. Yeah. Especially for this car right now. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool right now. Okay. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Mm. Separate left and right, you know? Oh yeah. They look like seat rails. Yeah. I like these ones like this because it, it makes you definitely uh, sit the lowest. Yeah. When you have individual lockers on each side and then there's no middle support brace. Uh -huh. um, oh damn. Yeah. Although the trick about these is always trying to get them to sit like even? straight. Yeah. Even. Because when they're separate like this, a lot of times you can mount it like cocked. Uh -huh. So if your seat like doesn't slide forward and back, then you have to like yeah. play with that a little bit. Oh uh, yeah. So you gotta just do two hands at the same time. <laughs> I'm sure there's enough space. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah. They look good. This little end piece is kind of nice. Little anodized gunmetal piece. Yeah. 
look at these cute little guys. Mm, oh yeah, because they're side mount. Yeah, nice and low, you know. Yeah. yeah, not a whole lot of room for adjustment. But then these are supposed to sit low, so. Yeah. You know. Yeah, the quality of them looks pretty good. Yeah, they do. That made in Japan stuff. Oh, I need the seatbelt. Oh. Oh. Right oh. Okay. Just gonna try to scratch everything we can today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Most manufacturer side rails are gonna have a high and a low side. Mm -hmm. I always see people putting the high side on the back, but there's never a point, there's never an option where someone's gonna want to tilt their seat more forward. No. You know? No. Plus this a lower on the lower on the back side allows more room for like that seatbelt hole. Sometimes that gets in the way too. Mm -hmm. End of the day, if it works with your setup, it's fine, it's not gonna fail on you, but yeah. I see people putting it backwards, I'm like Dude dropped dirty low. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if we want to go full low on the street. Uh uh. So I'll just put it on high and then we can adjust from there because like it's significantly lower than stock for sure. Yeah. So you don't want to be like high. staring at the dashboard. <laughs> Luckily we're like both not short short. Yeah. But we'll be slightly reasonable at this time I think. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why they make those holes so big too, right? Yeah, to more for play. accommodate for different people. Yeah. Well, that's another thing that I was gonna say. Like, you know, a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't like this big yeah. whole thing. You know, the older one. The it looks better because it's more than small, yeah. Yeah, the generation three seats always look a little better. Yeah. But this is like literally for like FIA kind of standard stuff because especially if these seats were a little designed for Japanese people mostly. Yeah. Have, like a taller shoulder or something. Everyone's shoulder sits at a different height. So if it's too low or too high, the way your harness goes over the shoulder, if you get in a front end collision, it could possibly actually compress your spine mm. if it, the seat doesn't fit you right. So this just actually accommodates different drivers, different size drivers more. For safeties. For safeties. And at the end of the day, I think as time goes on, like the function kind of meets the form kind of thing. Yeah. I can go pick up my Starbucks aggressively. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. Didn't get a shot of the seat inside the car because it got too dark last night after we finished up, but here's how the seat looks. Just a single bridge seat. It's all mounted up now. Pretty good seating position. Still not super low, but definitely uh, a little bit of an adjustment, but uh, not too bad in terms of driving. But looks cool in there. Flows a lot better with the roll bar now instead of having a stock seat. And yeah, it looks good. Pretty satisfied with this one.
So the front five lug is now done. Everything seems to be in working order. Just doing random stuff around the shop today. Terry decided to put his yellow valve cover on. Is it? <laughs> Just some clean up here afterwards. Things are looking good. Steady progress finally. Nice to see the watts gone from the car too. So as it turns out, I wasn't that great of a look after all. That's the valve cover they had powder coated? Yeah. I'll pull and roll on the fender. Yeah, you'd have to pull the fender out quite a bit. Yeah. Just don't make it flat though, because it's gonna look stupid. Yeah, I'm just but. gonna have, uh, have that guy. Just do it. So. Actually, I don't care what it is, like, just make it fit. Yeah. The best you can, try to maintain like the OEM look. Hmm. It looks cool. I think it'll work. Super concave, yeah. Is it better than the Watanabe's? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd like to think so, yeah. Yeah, the head looks super clean. But Jaren doesn't have any idea what's inside the engine? No. Oh, because he bought the engine like that? Yeah. Mm. It's like a mystery spoon engine with the, with the orange ball transmission. Yeah. It made like 196 or something like that. Yeah. For a V16B, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, so far we figured out that it has a ported throttle body. Mm -hmm. It's an orange ball transmission. Mm -hmm. And the head looks like it's been taken apart before. Yeah, you can't really tell what's in here, but the cam gears are marked intake and exhaust. So mm -hmm. that means they probably took it apart, put it back together, I'm assuming. Yeah. But valve train stuff, we can't really tell. Huh? No, I can't. Unless you take it apart. But yeah. Just leave it. Stock cams. But it made quite a bit of power, though. Yeah. It's interesting. I don't know how much torque it made. But it might, like, this would be, that would be an indicator if it's like stroke to 1.8 or something. Mm hmm. So bright. It looks so different. Yeah. It matches the light mats. Hey, look at that. Done. <laughs>first impressions initial drive doesn't feel too different now we just have a cool seat inside the car seating position is a little bit lower like Christian said but thankfully me and him aren't very tall I mean we're not very short people so we didn't need too much adjustment between the two of us I don't even have to move the seat back and forth honestly and this is the highest setting for this seat and you can see it's just a little bit lower so you see more hood more hood line than anything but other than that I like it I like how snug it is it's nice being back in a racing bucket. It's been a while for me. Now I just have like reclinable Recaros and stuff like that. But this is a good seat. I'm very glad that we have this and huge shout out to Christian for putting in the work. Even though it's been pretty hot at the shop still. Right now I gotta go to Home Depot because my sink is broken and it hasn't been draining for like four days and it's pretty disgusting. So I have to get some Drano or something or get one of those uh, plumbing snakes, toilet sink snakes, that, those metal wire things that you gotta shove in there and clean up and try not to throw up because I'm gonna see some unsavory things that I'm gonna pull out from that sink. But hopefully it drains after that because it's been kind of annoying not having a sink that drains. But on that note, I'll catch you guys later. That's it for this one. Like and subscribe if you guys want to. Hopefully you guys subscribe. And we're going to try to get more videos up. It's going to be a busy month coming up with SEMA and everything. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys.